Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 11 on recurrence relations. In this lecture, we are going to solve this non-homogeneous recurrence relation together with two initial conditions A0 equal to 1 and A1 equal to minus 1 using the method of undetermined coefficients. This question was asked in GTU winter 2022 exam and generally this type of question is for 7 marks if initial conditions are also given. So as we know to solve this recurrence relation we have to first uh, solve the associated homogeneous uh, recurrence relation. Before that first we write down the given non-homogeneous recurrence relation which is a suffix n plus 2 minus 5 times a n plus 1 plus 6 times a n equal to 2 we give this number 1 and then we write down the homogeneous recurrence relation the associated the associated homogeneous recurrence relation the associated homogeneous recurrence relation is uh, we will ignore the term which is independent of a n so this is the only term which is not in this form something into a j where a j is a term of the sequence so a n plus 2 minus 5 times a n plus 1 plus 6 times a n equal to 0 and we give this number 2. Now to solve this uh, homogeneous recurrence relation uh, we have to write down the characteristic equation and as we know for characteristic equation uh, we consider a n equal to r raise to n. So suppose uh, our solution is in this form or we can take a n equal to r raise to n taking a n equal to r raise to n in equation number 2 which is homogeneous recurrence relation we get if a n is r raise to n a n plus 2 is r raise to n plus 2 minus 5 times a n plus 1 is r raise to n plus 1 plus 6 times r to the power n equal to 0 and in each term we can take r raise to n common so we can rewrite this as r raise to n common here we are left with r square if we take r raise to n common here we are left with r and plus 6 equal to 0 and uh, r equal to 0 is not of our interest that will provide sequence which is having 0 in each of its term. So we are considering r square minus 5r plus 6 equal to 0 and this is the characteristic equation of given or of associated homogeneous recurrence relation 2 and we solve this uh, characteristic equation to find out the roots of uh, this characteristic equation. So I can rewrite 5r as minus 3r minus 2r plus 6 equal to 0 and uh, here I take r common and uh, here I take minus 2 common and again we have r minus 3 common therefore we have r minus 3 times r minus 2 equal to 0 and therefore roots of characteristic equation are 3 and 2 and therefore the solution of associated homogeneous recurrence relation which we have given number 2 is it is denoted by a n and here we write h equal to we have two real and distinct root so we write alpha 1 times 3 raised to n plus alpha 2 times 2 raised to n this is the associated uh, this is the solution of associated homogeneous recurrence relation to the given non-homogeneous recurrence relation 
now we uh, see that what is our f of n so this is the function of n which is constant function of n and this function makes our recurrence relation non homogeneous so first we uh, write our function as product of polynomial and power of nth power of a constant f of n here is 2 f of n is 2 so this 2 i can rewrite as polynomial into 1 raised to n we consider 2 as a polynomial of degree 0 and into s raised to 1 understand in this way polynomial in n we have polynomial in n of degree 0 into s raised to n where s is equal to 1 and uh, s equal to 1 is not the root of characteristic equation of associated homogeneous recurrence relation here roots of characteristic equation are 3 and 2 and uh, here uh, if we write our function f of n in this form that is polynomial in n times constant s raised to n then if we compare this product with this then we find that s equal to 1 and s equal to 1 is not a root of characteristic equation therefore we assume that the trial solution or choice for particular solution is denoted by a and p this is equal to we know that here whatever polynomial is given we have to write down arbitrary polynomial of that degree now here we have constant polynomial so we write arbitrary constant p0 is the constant polynomial and we write 1 raised to n as it is that is p0 therefore the choice for particular solution is a and p equal to p0 where p0 is a constant to be determined now we know that a and p is a solution of given non homogeneous recurrence relation therefore it will satisfy this recurrence relation and therefore we can substitute value of a and p in this equation 1 so now i can write in the next step that since this a and p this is assumed as a particular solution is a solution of recurrence relation 1 or given recurrence relation we must have it will satisfy given recurrence relation given recurrence relation is a n plus 2 minus 5 a n plus 1 plus 6 a n so here we replace a n by a n plus a n p so a n plus 2 instead of a n plus 2 we have a n plus 2 p minus 5 times a n plus 1 that is uh, a n plus 1 is replaced by a n plus 1 p plus 6 into a n that is replaced by 6 a n p equal to 2 now we have particular choice for Uh, we have choice for particular solution as a n p equal to p zero, and uh, this is constant. That is for all n, a n is p zero. Therefore, uh, this is also p zero minus five times value of this is also p zero plus six times p zero equal to two, and uh, therefore p zero minus five times p zero that is minus four p zero. Plus six p zero. This gives me two times p zero equal to two, and therefore p zero is one. And our particular solution is a n p equal to p zero. So therefore uh, we have obtained that the particular solution of given recurrence relation or particular solution of given non-homogeneous recurrence relation is. a and p equal to 1 and this is true for all 
n equal to 0 1 2 and so on now once we obtain particular solution we can write down the general solution of given recurrence relation as addition of ANH and uh, ANP. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is AN equal to ANH plus ANP. And uh, we have already obtained ANH also. ANH was alpha 1 into 3 raised to n plus alpha 2 into 2 raised to n and a n p is 1 and here n can take the values 0 1 2 3 and so on this is the general solution of given non-homogeneous recurrence relation and we give this number 3 now we have to solve the recurrence relation which satisfies uh, this initial conditions also that is we have to find out that solution a n for which a 0 is 1 and a 1 is minus 1 this solution which we have obtained is general solution in which alpha 1 and alpha 2 are arbitrary constants for different values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 we will have different formulas for a n which is the nth term of the sequence a n uh, which is a solution of given recurrence relation now out of all those infinite number of solutions we have to decide that solution which satisfies given initial conditions so uh, we have two initial conditions it is given that a0 is 1 and a1 is minus 1 so using these two in the initial conditions a0 is 1 a1 is minus 1 using these two initial conditions we will find out particular values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 here because this is general solution this alpha 1 and alpha 2 are arbitrary constants so we are interested in that solution for which these two conditions are satisfied that is a0 is 1 and a1 is minus 1 that means for which values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 the solution a n will satisfy these two conditions so for that first we put n equal to 0 and uh, then we will put n equal to 1 and then we will use these conditions so taking n equal to 0 taking n equal to 0 in 3 we have a0 equal to here I am taking n equal to 0 here also I will take n equal to 0 that is 3 raised to 0 which is 1 plus alpha 2 2 raised to 0 that is also 1 and plus 1 and what is a0 a0 is minus a0 is 1 so that we substitute here and therefore alpha 1 plus alpha 2 will be equal to 0 and we give this number 4 similarly we use a1 equal to minus 1 for that uh, we take n equal to 1 in in the general solution taking n equal to 1 in 3 uh, we have a1 here I put n equal to 1 everywhere in this general solution so I will have a1 equal to alpha 1 into 3 plus 2 alpha 2 plus 1 a1 is alpha 1 into 3 that is 3 alpha 1 alpha 2 into 2 that is 2 alpha 2 plus 1 and value of a1 is given as minus 1 so this is equal to minus 1 and therefore 3 alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 becomes minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 and now we have to solve this number 4 and 5 to obtain values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 now by 4 we have alpha 2 equal to minus alpha 1 alpha 2 is minus alpha 1 by 4 and uh, 
इफ वी टेक अल्फा टू इक्वल टू माइनस अल्फा वन इन फाइव वी गेट थ्री अल्फा वन अल्फा टू इज माइनस अल्फा वन दैट इज माइनस टू अल्फा वन इक्वल टू माइनस टू थ्री अल्फा वन माइनस टू अल्फा वन विच इज अल्फा वन सो आई ऑप्टेन अल्फा वन इक्वल टू माइनस टू एंड वट इज अल्फा टू अल्फा टू इज माइनस अल्फा वन देर फॉर अल्फा टू इज माइनस ऑफ माइनस टू विच इज टू सो दीज आर दी पर्टिकुलर वैल्यूज ऑफ अल्फा वन एंड अल्फा टू सो दैट वी सब्सटीट्यूट इन दी जनरल सॉल्यूशन सो देर फॉर द रिक्वायर्ड सॉल्यूशन रिक्वायर्ड सॉल्यूशन मीन्स द सॉल्यूशन विच सेटिस्फाइज रिकरेंस रिलेशन एज वेल एज इनिशियल कंडीशंस ए एन इक्वल टू ए एन इज अल्फा वन इंटू थ्री रेस टू एन प्लस अल्फा टू इंटू टू रेस टू एन प्लस वन अल्फा वन इज माइनस टू सो इट इज माइनस टू इंटू थ्री रेस टू एन अल्फा टू इज टू सो टू इंटू टू रेस टू एन प्लस वन एंड दिस वी कैन री राइट एज ए एन इक्वल टू If I combine these two, I will have two raised to n plus one, and here this I can rewrite as minus two times three raised to n plus one. So this is the final solution, which satisfies recurrence relation as well as initial conditions. If we wish, we can verify this solution by taking n equal to zero and n equal to one for our satisfaction. you don't have to write down this verification in your examination suppose i take n equal to 0 then i have a0 equal to 2 raised to 1 minus 2 3 raised to 0 is 1 plus 1 that is a0 is 1 if i take n equal to 1 i have 2 raised to 1 plus 1 that is 2 square minus 2 into 3 plus 1 that is 4 minus 6 plus 1 and it is minus 1 so we can see this solution satisfies given initial conditions which are a0 equal to 1 and a1 equal to minus 1 therefore our solution is correct so in this way we can easily solve the linear recurrence relation either it is homogeneous or non homogeneous for non homogeneous we have to do little more work we have to decide particular solution so uh, for particular solution what we, what is our rule is we can use method of undetermined coefficients and we can use that method for this type of functions only if f of n is a product of polynomial in n of say degree t into s raised to n where s is constant if f of n can be written in this form some polynomial in n of degree t into s raised to n then only we can apply this method this is the limitation of that method of undetermined coefficients for recurrence relations and uh, here we will uh, make sure that uh, or we will check every time that whether this constant s is a root of the characteristic equation or not if s is not a root of the characteristic equation then choice for particular integral particular solution will be arbitrary polynomial of degree t in variable n into s raised to n if s is not a root of characteristic equation now if s is a root of characteristic equation of some multiplicity m suppose s is a root of characteristic equation of multiplicity m then this choice will be multiplied by n to the power m n to the power m into polynomial in n of degree t into s raised to n where m is the multiplicity of root s or the number of times root s appears in the solution of characteristic equation so remember whenever you want to apply this method 
first you try to visualize your f of n in this form if you have only polynomial then your s will be equal to 1 and if you have only f of n equal to say 2 raised to n then your polynomial will be a constant polynomial 1 so first write your f of n in this form and then check what is the value of s and then check whether s is a root of characteristic equation or not if s is not a root of characteristic equation then choice for particular solution will be equal to arbitrary polynomial of degree t in n into s raised to n if s is a root of characteristic equation and multiplicity is small m then this choice will be multiplied by n raised to n so you have to remember this part only to select your particular solution correctly now once you select your particular solution in correct way then things are easy you have to substitute that choice for particular solution in the given non-homogeneous recurrence relation and then by comparing the coefficients of powers of n you will be able to decide the undetermined coefficients in this choice for particular solution so this is all about this session we will continue with this type of gtu exam questions on recurrence relations in upcoming lectures thanks for watching